I love it when two technologies integrate together to give you the best of both worlds. Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. No, it's not a smartwatch. This is the time we get to play with some different technology, which you're going to find in this box from Juyi incorporates a little case that holds inside of it two TWS earbuds. Sure, you pair it to your phone. Sure, you can listen to great stereo. Sure, you can uh, do all of that. And, and you can also use these as hearing aids. It's true. The, um, we talked already before about a hearing aid set that looks like earbuds, but was a hearing aid. You pop it in your ear. Nobody could tell that you actually have a hearing aid on. This is the same thing on the hearing aid side with a lot more enhancements in uh, ways you can actually do a, an, an active hearing test and contour your sound profile directly into the device. But it also now, because it has Bluetooth in it, can pair to your phone and give you... Um, play all your music or your YouTube videos or whatever you'd like. There's more to the package, but first I want to let you know where you can get it directly from Amazon. This is the Amazon page on it. Uh, a lot of fine print here. I'll show you blown up a little bit later. But basically, this is a really, relatively inexpensive, about 133 or so, uh, method of putting together hearing aids and TWS earbuds. It doesn't do a lot in terms of button pushing technology, and there's a reason I'm really excited about that. It has only one button on the outside of each one, and all it can do is answer or hang up a phone call. You can't mess around with it and change the volume or equalization settings or any of that stuff. That means any senior or technology-challenged person, or even any of us that have trouble holding these and putting them in your ear without accidentally touching the button and changing things, are going to be able to just pop them out of here and put them in your ears and go off running smoothly. If you need to change anything, you just pull it up in your phone. You'll see that in a minute. You can change the volumes. You can change all kinds of things with it. Now, moving on. This is the introductory set, and this is what I really recommend because of its simplicity and its low price. The company also has two other models. There's a bit of an upgraded one that has more of the stem on it like this. Uh, for about $279. Does the same thing, and it's for the same um, genre, in a sense, um, but a little bit more sophisticated. And finally, if you want to look for top-of-the-line true uh, hearing aids, um, they look like this that fit over your ear, right, with a little thing that dongles into uh, your ear cavity. They're up at about $600, but they're really good, too. All of these coming from Amazon. I'll have links to all three of them. But this particular one, this entry-level one, is great for what it can do for you at a price that's way less than some of those high-end Bose kind of uh, earbuds. Um, Cutting-edge sound experience. You get clear quality, state-of-the-art 24-channel Bluetooth hearing aid. It, often, it doubles as a, a standard device for great clarity and precision. Seamless connectivity personalized comfort. It's got some great different uh, tips to it that you can use to fit uh, your style and your size. Award-winning design and a uh, great, great long battery life with this one. 192 hours of battery life with the case. And you don't have to ch charge it, you know, except once in a while. You can get 48 hours uh, using it uh, without the Bluetooth and about 12 hours. A good solid day uh, when you do have it connected with Bluetooth. Now, like I mentioned, it comes with this case that has a USB charger. The buds, when you take them out, they have a little protective sleeve uh, cover on them. You want to remove that, put it back into the case, and do that on both of them. Charge the case and let the case charge the earbuds. They flash when they you first put them in and then they go dormant. You close it and it'll light up as it's charging. These are different tips that you could put on them. You've all done this stuff with your TWS. I'm sure they all come with um, different styles. There's the cone type, there's the dome type, and then there's this dual type. I like these in particular. They seem to stick in the ear really nicely. You also have another set that they throw in extra that's like a super large one of one of these here. 
um, for those that have really big ears. Then <laughs> you've got your charging cable, standard USB-C. Uh, uh, a little cleaner here that you can clean the tips with. A few things in here. A quality check. A card that tells you and gives you a QR code for how to go through setting things up. Um, and on the back side, it basically shows you you have the microphone down here, how you stick it in, and that where the touch area is for actually running the uh, device. There's a quick start guide, then there's a full manual guide, and we could go through this uh, in detail, but basically it's a lot of warnings and stuff and how to change the heads on them and how to use the app. And I'm just going to show you that right now. To get them paired now and work with the app, you first need to take them out of the case. Give them about 10 seconds or so. You can put them in your ear, of course, which is really what you should do. You'll hear a little voice saying that they're paired and uh, connected left and right and so forth. And when that's happening um, or done, you can then go into the uh, app. And from the Google Play Store, you're looking for the Juyi uh, icon. That's a thumbnail. And when you open it, uh, you'll land on this page, and this page says to, uh, how to uh, link your device. And you want to just tap here, give it a few minutes, and when it says hearing fitting, that means that you've connected or it's seeing it. Tap the button again, and it'll go through, and it'll actually connect the earbuds directly to the phone. Real easy to change to a different phone if you need to. Shows you your power level, some things in here, and factory reset and contacting service. Now, the hearing test itself, when you go in here, you can uh, run through an entire hearing test. You want to be in a quiet environment. It's going to run through all the frequencies, just like what happens when you have a real hearing test, you know, in a doctor's office or something. It's going to measure your threshold levels of all of those uh, readings. Then it's going to come back, and what I love about these, it also does a loudness testing. It gives you a moderate sound. It makes it louder and louder and louder, and it asks you to tap a button when it's too loud. So it'll set the upper threshold for you. Or, and when it's done, it'll create a, a, a whole chart. Or you can use the report from um, uh, wherever you've got it from, from hospital or something like that and if it shows you the decibels at each level you just simply program those in for each of the frequencies like that kind of like an equalizer you do it for the right you do it for the left and you can mess around with this you know to see what uh, fits to your liking as well um, the stronger the dip the worse the hearing is and the louder the frequencies will be in that uh, in that range. So it's like an equalizer upside down, if that makes sense. Usually on an equalizer, if you want to boost the bass, you crank it way up there, right? Well, this is the opposite because see, we're down below zero. So you want to go down further so that the uh, device will amplify more and less here and more there. When you're done with all that, then you go through, and now it's actually making tones, uh, or it will be in here uh, when it gets started. And you go through each of those. There you go. It was explaining it as it went there. At 1,000 hertz, it's getting it louder. And you can't hear it, of course, because um, I can't make it into your microphone there. But you see the decibels that's going up and getting you these. And when you say too loud, it records that. And it does that for all of the different frequencies for each of the ears. When it's complete, this is what the chart looks like next. So I ran out both sides, just some fictitious data to show you. Hit next, get your report. It's loading it up. Now it says load, so it's loading these characteristics to each of these units and setting it up to the profile that works for your ears. Now that's going to work, as I understand it, and that sounds to me, both for hearing aid capability and for music control. So your music, when it streams here, will go through that same contouring filtering process and you'll be able to adjust the music like an equalizer as well as the ambient environment outside. So right, left, um, and the colors, and you can see this is the loudness here. So it won't go louder than this. Because remember, louder is softer here because your hearing loss is lower um, or more uh, to push it down further in the decibels. And then this, of course, is the 
incremental contouring of the frequencies of sound that comes in that you're listening to from outside. So that's your overall um, contouring of the uh, equalization of the frequencies. Then you have these environmental switches, which are pretty dynamic. When you go quiet, that means the environment you're in is quiet and you can hear soft sounds. You can hear a water drop in the bathroom that you didn't notice before. When it's noisy, it pretty much dampens everything except for voice. So, you know, you're able to distinguish voice uh, information. Just now on your ambient uh, listening to the environment, it doesn't have an effect on the music playing through your device. Auto is a good one to put it in. It seems to contour and adjust when the environment's noisy or quiet to give you the best balance. You have volume control settings here that you can change. You have um, hearing aid pass through, which just lets the sounds you know pass straight through. Um, and this, of course, is passing this volume information to the devices. You cannot change the volume directly on them. And honestly, that's a good thing from what I've experienced, sorry. When you put this in your ear and you're positioning it or you have to get up there and wiggle it and you accidentally touch the button, you'll change the volume and then you got to cycle through everything. So for just an, a simple stick in your ear and go, this is a really, really good uh, method of doing it where everything is controlled in here. You have also the ability to do howling suppression if you get that kind of squeal thing, which sometimes happens if it's not in there tight enough. Noise elimination, you can set it for your own voice suppression if it's hard to deal with hearing your voice echoing or coming back to you. And then overall speech enhancement. So lots of different controls in here. You have an account you can go into. You have the device and information and you definitely want to check um, the device version, make sure it's on the latest firmware. Because they come out, they have a couple of little bugs in them. Um, and if you do a factory, uh, a factory re data reset if you want to, but definitely a update to the uh, firmware, it clears all that stuff up so they'll work perfectly for you. Very simple app, that's basically all there is to it. And um, you're on your way to go. Well, I debated about doing this video for you guys, but I had a hard time finding a product like this that was both a hearing aid and a TWS and would blend the two together so you could be playing your music or podcast or whatever and be able to still clearly hear the outside and was able to interface with an equalizer system uh, that you could put in a contour that matches your ears uh, for best hearing, similar to what happens when you get uh, traditional um, hearing aids by prescription. And this seems to fit the bill. Oops, I got them in backwards. That's good to know. You can't close the, the case if you've got them in the wrong way. Um, charging case, hours and hours of use, pops in your pocket, easy to carry, and works seamlessly with your phone. Very, very nice product. Julie and uh, Julie, Julie uh, and about $133 again from Amazon. I got links in the show notes to all three models for you. You can dive deeper if you want to in the other two and see which one works for you best. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with a smartwatch soon.